Well, good morning, everybody, on this Friday. The Punisher, hard at work already. He went in early this morning. I went in early this morning. Had a lot of things to catch up on after my very important trip yesterday. As you saw on Hump Day, Punisher had that important call. I had to take a trip down to an unknown destination. I will tell you this. I'm tired, but it isn't from jet lag. In fact, I didn't even leave the Eastern Time Zone. Hint, hint. So, the meeting went extremely well, and as a result, I have a, some news to talk about regarding Operation Royal Flush. But we will get to that in a few minutes. First, let's go ahead and pay some bills. I'll be right back. One ping. One ping only. One ping. I present to you the Red October. No, today's a message. I'm a very, very funny man, but today's message is brought to you by the fine makers of the Tetris game, designed in 1985 by my colleague Alexei Pajitnov. It became an international international hit and if you haven't seen the movie about the game the Tetris you must watch it because it was designed in the motherland and it uh, is played by the fine fine actor who uh, starred in the King's Men and now then let's get back to your regularly scheduled program don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> Javier Mille, president of Argentina at the Davos, Switzerland Economic Summit on Climate, gave the body slam to them when he said the Western world is at risk of becoming a bunch of socialists because of their completely ridiculous uh, Climate stances, my God, I thought that was funny. I'm going to issue two stamps today. We got a stamp of stupid, which does not go to him, and another stamp that I will reveal in a moment. So we're going to go back and forth. The good versus the bad. So next up is, who is this dip crap? Maxwell Frost, who says we should get rid of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> because of the GOP stance on immigration. Uh, yeah, immigration. It's called illegal. He, the, the Statue of Liberty represents many things, uh, one of which, of course, was coming here legally and embracing the, uh, the American way. He gets an official stamp of stupid, a virtual one, because I don't even want to show his mug. Anyway, next up, J.P. Morgan. CEO, Jamie Dimon, Dimon with an N, not with a D. <laughs> he uh, was on the news the other day. He's uh, basically a Democrat, but he has uh, some conservative views, and, he, and he's clearly smart enough to know that if you continue to bash MAGA Republicans, it's going to come back to bite you in the butt. Because, in, in his words... Uh, President Trump, well, he was pretty right on NATO. He was good for the economy. He was definitely good on immigration. I mean, better, far better. The border was more secure. We were had energy independence. And the Democrats should be more respectful of their fellow citizens. So he and the president of Argentina, real men of genius, great stuff. So, anyway, that's the stamp of genius. We got the stamp of stupid and the stamp of genius today. And today we have two stamps of stupid as well. Oh, Joy Reid. A most hateful, divisive person. My God. I will, I will not say, uh, you know, bad things. I'm more respectful. I'll, I'll leave that to her to uh, 
call us all the bad names because we are above that. But she gets a stamp of stupid for being a complete freaking idiot and for being so divisive and hateful. Every single day she speaks. Incredible. So, where are we? I'll come back to the other news in a moment. But Elon sent another rocket with a bunch of people up to the International Space Station. Crazy. And then that booster thing came back and landed on its own on the platform perfectly. Go Elon. By the way, I meant to mention this the other day. <laughs> the, uh, the whole electric cars and Teslas and that. Look, Tesla's the number one selling electric vehicle. And uh, contrary to uh, popular belief, we are not against electric vehicles. What we are against is not having the choice. And most electric vehicles are really suited for in and around. They're not suited for long distance. It's so difficult to find charging stations. You have to wait in line. Sometimes they're broken down. And as they learned in some really cold spots, people couldn't charge up at all. Because machines were broken, cars were, uh, run, would run out of charge, the people pushing them, trying to pushing them, push them to the charging station, and then it didn't work. And guess what? The battery has to get up to a certain temperature before it even begins to accept a charge. So if you're in a really cold climate, it's not even going to work. So it's laughable how ridiculously stupid... Uh, some people are when they try to push this as the uh, as the as the hundred one hundred percent way to go. No, the best way to go is to have a choice. You know, gasoline powered vehicle, diesel powered vehicle, and an EV or an electric vehicle. Uh, when I said EV, I meant hybrid. A hybrid or an electric vehicle. Uh, it's just it's a choice. That's all it is, and that's what people want. Okay. So you know what. I just love Gen Z. <laughs> for the olders. For the olders. Uh, this is going to be a humbling thing that I'm about to say. If you are 18, if you were 18 today, you were born in 2005. Think about that. Let that set in a little bit. <laughs> We're going to win. We're going to win. doesn't matter uh, uh, who the GOP puts up. We're going to win again. And if it's Trump, we're going to win again. It's just that uh, we got to get our message out, okay? we gotta, we got to tell them all the things that we've done and who brung it to them. Deep thoughts from our vice president. <laughs> Too funny. And now to some of the good stuff. All of that was good as well, but pay attention to New Hampshire. <laughs> the polls are already showing Trump taking the cake. <laughs> A big surprise, big surprise. But anyway, that's, that's next week. But now, people loved the elephant on hump day. Some said, what's that elephant doing back there? What, what, what? He disappeared. Now he's back. And then... You would think that some didn't listen to the end, where I talked about the I addressed the elephant in the room. <laughs> I addressed the elephant in the room. All right, let's get to the uh, let's get to the important stuff to conclude this beautiful day. That is Operation Royal Flush, which was at 4.0, sudden impact 4.0, Operation Aurora, Operation Royal Flush, on a snowy day here. That's why the Punisher's dressed down today, by the way. I gotta go shovel some snow. But on this snowy day, uh, Operation Royal Flush, upon release of this message, is officially Operation Royal Flush 4.5. Got it? Boom. Heads are getting ready to roll now. Soon, very soon. And I hope that everybody who uh, has to go out and shovel their snow, does so safely, and enjoy the weekend. A screw James Whitey Bulger. We'll talk to you later. Bye.
How do we do?